What's up guys, Matt here from PC Bros, stepping in to show you guys a quick tutorial on how you can get some more FPS in Fortnite on your ultra budget PC. Let's say you buy a budget PC from PC Bros Tech, one of our ultra budget gaming PCs at a really good value for the money, and Fortnite's just not running the way you want to. Here's some things that you can do that are a little bit beyond just optimizing the main settings in game to get the maximum performance. Now we're gonna load into Fortnite right now on performance mode. We're waiting everything to load in and we are gonna be running the default settings just to show you guys what this little budget PC can do. This is an example of a really cheap computer with a RX 580 2048 and i7 4770. Older hardware, but should still be able to run Fortnite pretty well. But there are some times where there's some stutters and things like that. And we're gonna show you how you can fix some of that stuff once we load in and show you guys the baseline. All right guys, so we're in Fortnite and these are the settings we're currently running. 1080p performance graphics, far reduced distance low textures, 100% render scale. And we're gonna go ahead and just dive into a match and show you guys what kind of performance we have right now. It's probably gonna run pretty smooth because it is running performance settings, lower settings overall, but you're gonna see that there is a way we can make it even smoother. And if you are having stutters in game and you've optimized all the settings or maybe you copy these exact settings and you're like, why am I not getting similar results? Well, there is other stuff you can do and we'll show you that. All right, so we're in Fortnite right now and uh, we're getting pretty decent numbers, but as you can see, decent amount of stutter here. Um, it is definitely a little bit chunky um, and you might experience this at a home with, you see right there, just did it again. You might experience this at home with a budget computer where you're gonna get some nice high FPS numbers, but you're gonna have some chunking. So we're gonna go ahead and land here and see if things settle out. They should set out a little bit, but there's still gonna be a little bit of lag and realistically with these budget PCs, there's no amount of in-game settings you can do to fix this problem. But there is a chance with our secondary uh, settings that you can do outside of the game that it will fix them. Where's this guy at? Hey. All right, so as you can see, getting about 130, sometimes even 170 FPS. There's still some slight micro stutters here and there. And for some people that'll be absolutely aggravating. And we're getting some lag like this. Oh God, you see that lag spike right there? That was pretty bad. It's playable, but as you can see in some moments, things are lagging. And there is one more thing you can do. Normally people would tell you, hey, go into your settings, lower the render res, uh, go view distance all the way to low. What I'm gonna do is show you guys another way that you can lower some of the uh, graphical demands of Fortnite. Scroll down to Fortnite, it still says we're running. Bunch of PC problems, I'll wait for this to finish loading in. Okay, you're gonna hit these three little dots right here. You're gonna go to options. And as you can see, we have the Fortnite Core and Battle Royale, just the main files right here. But as you see right here, we have high-res textures at 19 gigs. High-res textures, even on performance mode, sometimes will actually still run and cause your PC to lag up while you're running performance mode. So we're going to uncheck that. And these DX12 shaders, even if you're running performance mode, it's a good idea to turn this off. One thing too, it saves you almost like 23 gigabytes by doing this. And if you hit apply, It'll automatically remove those textures and we can relaunch running lower textures and in theory should get better performance. Now this isn't gonna fix everyone's PC. This isn't gonna make Fortnite playable on the absolute potatoes of potatoes or remove all stutter. Sometimes old hardware is just old hardware, but this is just another setting that I don't see a lot of people talking about that allows you to get the maximum performance out of your PC and potentially get more FPS if you really don't care about visual quality. We'll stop back into Fortnite and see if we notice a difference. All right, we're back in Fortnite, loading things in. As you can see texture wise, it definitely looks worse. Performance wise, I will say, not a major difference on this PC, but we'll see if it eliminates some of the stutters we've been dealing with, because we were getting a lot of micro stutters, and it seems like it's a bit smoother. We are dropping off a little bit here and there, but let's go ahead and land in the main game and see if we get some higher FPS numbers overall. All right, we're gonna try to go to the same location just to make things a bit more consistent, but drop FPS, pretty solid. Again, it doesn't really matter all too much, but we'll go ahead and drop to the same location so we can kind of compare things. But I'm expecting slightly higher highs and maybe a little bit less stutters. This is the first drop after adjusting these settings, so maybe a couple more drops, everything will be fully uh, tuned in, but this is feeling pretty good. I can definitely tell the visual quality difference though. So if you are somebody who cares about the quality of your gameplay, this is kind of the sacrifice you're gonna have to make if you are gonna to wanna to get the most FPS possible on a budget PC. Hey, this is feeling, a, honestly, a decent amount smoother. Things are loading in much quicker. You're not really dealing with a lot of like instant drop lag. Things just load in pretty smoothly. 
and I'm, I'm dropping in a very, you know, I'm gonna go to the exact same spot we were before to make things pretty good. And I'm seeing some higher highs. Like at some points we were getting 180 FPS. Yeah, things are just running overall much smoother. Now, again, as I mentioned, this is not gonna be a perfect fix for a lot of people. Um, and our, your average FPS numbers might not change all that much. You might still be around the same FPS wise, but you might eliminate some of those stutters that you get frequently that cause, well, awkward gunfights to go, well, not your way. Somebody's dropping on me. That was pretty easy. Yeah, I'll run around just a little bit more because I got somebody else pushing me. Ah! Oh. oh, you been harpooned, buddy. I'm surprised I survived that, to be honest. Yeah, guys, all in all, I think this does make a decent difference. Again, it's not gonna be a perfect fix. It's not gonna magically make your PC better, but in terms of optimizing settings for playing a game like Fortnite on a budget computer, you most certainly could get some more FPS by doing this. So hopefully you guys at home found this useful if you play Fortnite on a budget PC and are wondering other ways you can optimize your settings. This is something we're gonna be doing more and more on the main Toasty Bros channel. But also, if you are buying a budget PC from PCBros.tech, you most certainly should try running these settings on your budget PC to see if you can get even more performance for your dollar. So thanks again guys for watching this awesome video over on PC Bros. Be sure to subscribe and if you wanna buy a PC today, check that link down below and take a look at our awesome inventory of gaming PCs in stock ready to ship. See you guys later, peace.